Bunglehouse is for a bloody greeting, eh? Not a bad start, fast up on the surface. Looks like Mac Tuna, the way that they're hitting. So we'll get the slug out and get straight into them, eh? 10 grams slug again. I think that'll probably do us. I think they're probably little Watsons, you know. These guys obviously know what they're doing a bit better than me. I thought the slug would be working like magic. Well, there. Yeah, a little bit deeper. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's back us out of here. Not a bad little fish. Not a bad little fish. Little bonito, I think. Bit more fun than the uh yeah. oh there's a Mac tuna. Oh. Losing all that a bit of bloody fun. Well not bloody bad. 20 minutes in. Not even. We're on to fish. 16 minutes of rolling cameras. Yeah, I wasn't able to get out early this morning because I'm moving house this week, so I've been packing all day, but there we go. How cool are these little dudes? They're just so much fun to catch on my gear, eh? I love their mouth. They're just aggressive. They go straight down. It's good fun. Good fun on my gear. It's on a little Luvian Commander again. Good bit of fun. Going belly up on me. Here we go. Here we go, little life, little life. There we go, off he goes. <laughs> Took a bit of work, but we got there in the end. Oof. 
These things are literally everywhere. There we go. I think that one's a tailor. He took that so subtly. Another one in the boat. Whew. There we go. He strikes again. Another little Mac tuna. See his spots there? That tells you what he is. Bloody beauty. Oh my. Straight back to your food. There we go. The trick is to let him sink. Right. We know the secret now. Boom, three, just about to do my introduction and then the camera died. So, I'll get another one and we'll do it. Well, I suppose now as good a time as any to do my introduction. Uh, I was going to do it before while I was holding a fish, but uh, the GoPro camera died right as I started doing the introduction, so I didn't want the fish to die from being out of the water, so I threw him back in. And then, of course, true to form, we couldn't find another one. So, anyway, uh, welcome to another episode of Around the Boy. Uh, just got onto a hot little Mac tuna surface bite, which was it's always a great way to start a session when you catch a fish already 15 minutes in. Um, so yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun. They were the, I'm guessing they're the same school of fish that we were fishing last week. They've just moved around the harbour a little bit, moved with the tides and whatnot. The stairs are soft not. As you can see them, the sound is just going absolutely bonkers. But you know, once they're off the feed, they're off the feed, so I'm not going to waste my time with them. Uh, we're out here in the afternoon. We didn't get out here this morning because um, I'm moving house this week. So that's a good thing. Um, I'm glad that I'm moving. But definitely uh, a lot of work at the moment. And I wasn't able to get out this morning, so afternoon search. But we're catching fish nonetheless. So I guess it's all, all good, really. Um, yeah, so I'm going to move off to the spot and go chase a few more fish around the harbour see what we can uh see what we can raise from the bottom hopefully it's more than just what we had then because 
it's going to be a pretty brief episode otherwise. Alright, eh? let's go hook in. Alright. Just seen a small amount of bait jumping around. So I'm guessing something's pestering them. Hey. Fish on. Not big. Not big by any stretch of the imagination. I'm catching a lot of these fellas. Oh, it's a little tailor. There you go, mate. Off you go. Alright, I thought I'd just give that spot a crack on the last of the low tide, but it turns out it was to no avail. I've got a few little nudges, but we're vibing now. It's the start of uh, winter. So you know what that means? It means uh, perch. It's the, uh, it's the start of winter. Well, we've just had the daylight savings change, so um, it's perch and dewy fishing time. So I reckon we, uh, we celebrate by going and doing a spot of dew fishing. This could be very long, slow and boring. Let's get into it. Alright, oh, in the onset of madness that is dew fishing. Uh, could be onto something decent here. Big head shakes. Um, I generally didn't think I was going to catch a fish here. <laughs> I'm starting to think it's a flathead. Because it's. Geez, there's a lot of weight there. Yeah, he hasn't done those kind of big dewy runs, you know, the pulsating kind of. Oh, but I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. <laughs> you little ripper. It's a little soapy. <laughs> he just smacked me. Oh, I, I thought, you know, we'll, we'll go for a dewy fish. We'll go for a dewy fish. Why the bloody hell not? And then, oh, mate. That's when things come to plan when you just least expect it. I literally thought I was a flathead, eh? Oh, mate. Mmm. Boy. Still ripe, eh? Still bloody ripe. Look at that. <laughs> These fish just make me happy every time I see them, eh? Just such a beautiful looking fish. Look at the colours on him. He's a good nick. I really didn't think they were going to be up this far, this early, straight after the flood. You know, I thought they'd be down out in the harbour, keeping on all the bait where the tuna are feeding. But, you know, here's what it is. We won't say no. I reckon this bloke oh, may go 50. Oh, yeah? There we go. 57. Only a little pump. But he's made me 
It's made me die. <laughs> made me bloody die. It's been a, it's been a cracking session. get some photos of this fella and then uh, uh, we'll get him out of here. thing that I reckon is important when releasing these fish is not only to give them a decent go swimming them, but you also want to release them about 50 meters from where you caught them at least because then they can't go back to the school, and this guy's a little schooly, so we want to give him the best chance he's got, and we also want to give ourselves the best chance we got. There we go. And off he goes. <laughs> Pretty happy with that. You're bloody happy with that. Who doesn't like topping out a session with a little, little river dew fish? Why didn't that turn into a bloody river of a little session? Definitely not complaining about that. Uh, straight onto the Mac tuna as soon as we got out on the water and then, uh, you know, a bit of time between bites but eventually getting onto a nice soapy dew and now I'm just enjoying this beautiful sunset behind me. The only issue is, is that I'm hungry, so I'm, I'm gonna get the boat out of the water and uh, go order some pizzas or something, uh, because everything's packed up and I'm moving out. So thanks for watching. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, look forward to plenty more. I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheers, bye. Thank you.